Hello and welcome to RW. My name is Calliope and I invite you to watch this tutorial on a custom dungeon called Olympus, created by Athena, one of RW admin. The easiest way to get to Olympus is to use the public moon gate system. Enter the system by walking into the gate, selecting Ilshnar on the left and Compassion on the right. When you click OK, you'll be taken to that shrine. Normally, the shrine is safe upon entry, although that does not mean that somebody could not have pulled some spawn up towards the area. Once I'm here in Compassion, I am going to walk towards the east, or run, east until I can go south. As soon as I can go south, I'm going. When I make my way to that camp, there is a cave that is blocked off. I'm going to cross through that cave by approaching it from the southeast side. There's a small shield and it will teleport now you I'm over. on the other side of the cave. I'm going to run north. Now be careful because there are things out here that can kill you. There are jukas and dire wolves and savages. But I'm just going to continue to run north and I know that I will get to Athens when I see the gatekeeper. When you're approaching Athens, you're going to see several blessed creatures, which means they have a yellow name. Those creatures will not attack you, but you'll know that you're close to the gatekeepers of Athens. The gatekeepers of Athens are two very large gentlemen and they hold a quest. If you double click the gatekeeper, you'll be presented with the, gate, uh, the Entering Athens quest offer. I'm not going to give you the information on this quest, but what you are trying to obtain with this quest is the passport to Athens. Now, this passport needs to be insured once you get it because it is reusable, but you can also lose it on death. If you do lose your passport, you will have to complete the gatekeeper quest again in order to get another. Once you've entered the city of Athens, up through the gatekeepers, if you go to the back of the city, there is Hermes, who is the messenger of the gods. Hermes is another quest giver, so you'll need to stand up next to him and double click him to, pre to be presented with the entering Olympus quest. Again, this is just a brief tutorial and I don't want to ruin the surprises in the adventure, so you'll need to accept this quest and complete it in order to gain access to Olympus. Once you've completed the Hermes quest, you'll receive a pair of shoes that will bring you to Olympus. Olympus is quite a noble area and upon entry it is completely safe. It is separated into six rooms plus Zeus's chamber. Four of the rooms, we'll call this room, room A. It is an entry room, and the main room, however, is where the spawn exists. When you enter, the altar will tell you something about the room, such as this one says, the sun is shining and it's a perfect day to be outside. In every sub-room for the different levels, the different room, main rooms of the dungeon, there's an NPC. If you say hi to the NPC, he will ask you, do you seek information? And if you say yes, that NPC will give you information. He'll give you a clue as to the god or goddess that this room belongs. For example, this NPC says she is hunting again, but this time you are her target. Say her name to defeat her. Based on the decoration of the room, the altar mentioning being outside and hunting, you could only guess that the goddess of this room has to deal with being outdoors or being a hunter. Now, you can either Google in the clues and look for the answer, or you can look in this sub room and find the name of the god or goddess name that you need to speak. Each sub room will have something in there with the name of the god or goddess on it and you say that name next to the NPC and you will be teleported to the champion room, the area where the spawn is. Once you kill the spawn in a timely fashion, you'll be presented with the champion of that room, which is the god or goddess or a representation of the god or goddess, and you will kill and upon that one person within the party will receive a key. You only need one key from each room. So once you've completed the room, you come back to this holding room or this, this little side room using the gate and you need to complete this for all four rooms. Each room is themed around a god or a goddess. I'll just walk over here to this one just to show you. As you can see, it's the same layout. It's a sub room or a holding room 
that will lead you to the main room with the champ. There's an NPC and there is an altar. Once you receive all four keys, you will go then go to Zeus's chamber. The trick with these four keys is each one has a timer, so if you take too long, there is the possibility that the keys that you've already received have decayed. That means you'd have to go back and do the room again that belonged to that key to get another. Once you have all four keys, you will enter Zeus's chamber, and there is a gold altar on his table. You will place those four keys into the altar. And then once all the four keys are in there, you'll be given a primary key. Make sure that everybody that wants to go to Zeus's chamber is partied together. When you use that primary key, everybody will be teleported to Zeus's chamber. Zeus's chamber is set up much like the other god and goddesses champ rooms where there is a small side room that is safe for resurrection and calling your pets and healing but the main room will have the spawn. Zeus is your target in this last room, uh, but I will say that he will call on some friends to help him, so you will want to kill those friends first. Every champ inside this dungeon area has a chance at giving you a rare item from Olympus, so it's definitely worth running it through time and time again.